Hello, hello, my fellow Fossil Fighters. I'm Steven Bears Nikki, and I'm back with another Fossil Fighters Top 10 list. Today's list is going to be another Top 10 Vivisaur ideas for the air element. So for this list, we'll be going over Vivisaurs that I think would be good candidates for creatures of the air element. Now, if you haven't seen my previous list for the air Vivisaur ideas, I suggest you check out that video first. I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, without further ado, let's get this list going. Number 10, Scutellosaurus. Remember Skeletosaurus, the runner-up on my first neutral element Vivisaur list? Well, Scutellosaurus is relative to Skeleto, except that Scutellosaurus is a biped, while Skeletosaurus was a quadruped. In any case, Scutello could be of the air element. The auto counter ability could be good for a small animal that is somewhat armored, albeit to a lesser extent than Skeleto, but at least Scutello can run with a decent 20 speed stat. True, its support effects could be rather small, but it could be good for a good starting Vivisaur in the next possible game, with some skills that could be named Scutello Scatter or Scutello Shield. Number 9. Mega Neuro. Do you like dragonflies? How about dragonflies the size of eagles? Back in the Carboniferous era, when giant insects ruled the world, such as a Giga Millipede Arthur Quirra, for example, Mega Neuro flew the skies like a hawk, feeding on fellow bugs, amphibians, and reptiles that existed at the time. Being of the air element does have its hazards from Megara, but not if you use it wisely. Enraged skills such as Megara Mayhem can ensure that, since I think Mega Neuro might have a whopping 30 base speed stat. Pretty crazy for a small sized long range Vivisaur with low LP. As such, don't put Mega Neuro on the front lines. It likely won't end well, even for the giant bugs. Number 8. Astarco. The pterosaur, which is seemingly the namesake of Astarca pterosaurs, should definitely get some recognition. Especially since the name Astarco comes from the Persian word Astar, the dragon like creature in Persian mythology, right? Astark would definitely have a skill set based on possible aerial assaults, such as Astark Arrow Dive, which attacks the entire enemy team, and a skill called Astark Annihilate, similar to Jara and Gira's Spite Blast, which uses all but one LP to inflict heavy damage. 180 damage to be exact. Not to mention some great support effects that hamper the AZ enemies, especially the attack and accuracy stats. Number 7. Mikmanakion. Its name means claw mixture. Kind of fitting since its left arm, unlike its right, is missing a forelimb, but it does have a complete hand. Claw mixture indeed. Anyway, it could have a nice skill set that excites the enemy preventing them from rotating their position. Though, a poison skill called Migma Burn could be a nice trick up a seemingly non-existent sleeve. Some support effects could add to the AZ allies' defense and accuracy stats too. Number 6. Gryposaurus. It is known as a hook-nosed lizard, though it used to be incorrectly known as the Griffin Lizard. But you know, with a former reputation like that, it definitely should have a... um... Gryphonian design to it? As some bird feathers, maybe? Anyway, as an Ornithischian or bird hip hadrosaur dinosaur, it could have a mythological skill set such as Gryphone Fist, especially if Gripos' battle animations are similar to fellow hadrosaurids Olero and Igwa. Its theme skill could be called Mythical Madness, which can enrate opposing Vivisaurs so as to make them more likely to miss in their attacks, especially if Gripos has support effects that increase the AZ ally's speed stats. Number 5. Kianjusaurus. Basically, this is a Tyrannosaurid relative, albeit more closely related to Alioramus as opposed to the usual Tyrannosaurids. In any case, this guy, whom we'll call Kian, could be the air equivalent to Alio, except instead of using poison skills, it could use confused skills, as if some might mistake it for an Alio. Its team skill could be called something like Kianado, while it could have the auto counter ability for good measure. Considering that the skull was found without any teeth in the lower jaw at the time of discovery, another skill could be named Teething Tantrum. Number 4. Vectero Venator. A recent, albeit incomplete, discovery made in England around the start of the recent pandemic, Vectero Venator is, at the time of writing, a theropod dinosaur. Though, we're not sure if it is of the Tyrannosauroid or Allosauroid superfamilies, but it seems to be definitely a carnivore. Its name means, scientifically, Isle of Wight Airfield Hunter, 
which gives some precedence to classifying it as of the air element. Vectro could have an infection skill similar to that of Crypto and E-Raptor called White Flight, referring to the potato flight transmitted to the island in the mid-1840s. It could also have a strong yet specific skill that attacks all vivisaurs while inflicting normal damage against earth vivisaurs. It'd be as though this vivisaur is a semi-dragon of sorts. Number 3. Thylacaleo. Ah yes, the marsupial lion. There are at least three different genuses of this species, Thylacoleo hilli, Thylacoleo crassidentatus, and Thylacoleo carnifex. Mind you, the latter genus, Thylacoleo carnifex, is what we're going with here, since it is the largest mammalian predator in Australia of its time. Heck, by some estimates, T. carnifex is close to the weight of the modern day lioness, something just escaped from Pumbaa to come from. Anyway, this pouch lion had, pound for pound, the strongest bite force of any mammal species, rivaling even that of fellow carnivorous mammal Hyenodon. In its day, Thyleo hunted fellow larger marsupials such as the giant kangaroo and diprotodon, both of which were herbivorous marsupial animals. Hopefully Thyleo could get around the kangaroo's hard-hitting kicks. Now, since this hunter is built more for ambush than for chasing its prey, some skill names could be called Branch Bite or Thyleo Tiger. The latter, since it was hypothesized that it theoretically had stripes similar to that of modern day tigers, likely for camouflage. A high critical rate would definitely befit its bite force, and perhaps the link ability, as well as some decent support effects to the attack and accuracy stats, could help it capitalize on its ambush tactics. Number 2. Boverisuchus. Now, to be fair, Boverisuchus, and by proxy every crocodilian ever, cannot fly. But with hooked like toes that can help this croc run like the wind to catch its mammalian prey, why bother? Formerly known as Pristachampsis, this cursorial croc, cursorial as in an animal built for running, had teeth very similar to that of typical theropod dinosaurs. In fact, its teeth were initially mistakenly thought to belong to a dinosaur. Sure, it is a smaller croc when compared to, say, Fasolisuchus, but then again, smaller creatures tend to run faster than the big guys, right? In light of the mistaken thought that its teeth belong to theropod dinosaurs, I imagine one of its stronger skills being called something like Beguiling Bovarus, and a weaker skill called Bovarus Bite. And befitting its ability to run, it could also have a high speed set, maybe around 22 points at max rank, and be equipped with a high critical ratio as well as the Hardened Plus ability, in case the opponent takes the first turn. Now, before we Geronimo with my top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Number 1. Xiao Qi Long. A relative to Karakarodontosaurus, whose name means Shark Tooth Dragon? Yes, please. Though definitely not as large as one would imagine it to be, it is definitely worth the top spot on this list. I mean, anything with long, meaning dragon, in a scientific name is cool enough, especially if it might look like one too. Imagine a land shark similar to Garchomp, either in its official or beta form, from Pokemon. And whereas Vectero Venator would be somewhat dragon-like, Xiaolong could be a truly draconic vivisaur. Xiaolong's air typing could obviously give it an edge against water vivisaurs, and it could have skill names such as Xiaolong Sword and Xiaolong Chi, which can steal the opponent team's FP, or maybe the opponent's LP for that matter. The auto LP recovery could practically ensure its survival. Oh, and how about giving this vivisaur a super evolver form? like with Garchomp having its own mega evolution. Maybe the Super Evolver could be called something like Xiaolong Shogun, similarly named to T-Rex Lord and Mapo King, smaller in size to the O-Raptor Fiend, but with a slightly higher speed stat to make up for it. It'd be kinda like Samurai Jack vs. Aku, right? You can fly? No, jump good. So, in summary, in spite of its lacking in size, the combination of Xiao Qilong's typing, skills, potential, and possible super evolver form 
is what puts it in the top spot of this second Aerovivosaurus. Now, for our secret number 11, we have Radiodactylus langstoni, a pterosaur with a different, maybe even unique kind of head crest, named in honor of the late Dr. Wan Langston Jr., who has been described by others as the father of Texas pterosaurology. Well, everyone, that's my second list for air element vivisor ideas for fossil fighters, hopefully for the Nintendo Switch in the future. Do you have any ideas for the air element, or any other element for that matter? Let them in the comments below. Also, if you're new to this channel, please consider liking and subscribing for more videos by me. Alright, be safe and have a great day everyone. Peace.